Um, a much better game. Uh, structure was better. We're not making key plays. But we played something I could coach. I could tell what they were doing for the most part. And our, big, our biggest thing is trying to find who, who really can make and play extended minutes without making mistakes. And uh, it's a hard fall battle. This team plays really hard and really physical. But first half, we were right there. We come out, we get a six point game. We make two or three mental mistakes, and it gets off. And that's all it takes a team like this. We've got to grow into where we don't do that, but uh, much better. We can we can be better from this way we're playing. I'm getting a little bit better handle of who needs to be in, who does not need to be in. So uh, we're looking forward to a four game home stand. We come back, uh, if we go, if we win those four, hold our court, eight three, we can find ourselves right back on top of this conference. Dan, what do you um? You, you mentioned it's mental though, but it, it was very difficult to find a basket in that second half. Uh, I mean, what what really causes that? I mean, you, you, got, you got so many guys on the team. It can't be all the guys, right? Is it chemistry? What What's the issue, maybe? Not chemistry. I mean, when you're shooting a shot, you're shooting a shot. Make it, you know? And that, and it did. We opened up, if you think about it. We opened up with a little play. It's called San Antonio. Nate goes right to the rim. He just hits the back and bounces out, right? Uh, Cam Crawford hit the first three, but right when it was big, wide open shot at the over on the right hand side down to us, missed him. David Connor had some shots and missed him. He's got to be more aggressive, he's got to be a little bit more energy in his body. I thought Nate played well, and then I, I told OB, and I said, OB, and I don't, I don't think, and go back to your original question is it chemistry? No, it's it is. I don't know what you mean by energy. In other words, do I have the right five playing together? The locker room's good. That's that's not it. It's not that type of uh, uh, what you say was. Uh, I think not, you hit on it. I think you hit on it as far as you know. Do you have the right guys working together right now? I think, you... I think that's the biggest thing. It's not a locker room issue. It's us trying to find out who's going to make plays in big moments. Now you can see Cam Kirkman. You know he'll he'll rise. You know what I'm saying. But get back to the original thing when I was talking about, it, and I pointed out to O'Bean. I said, "Ben, you got to get back to your game." He said, "Okay." He's looking at me. And he agrees. He'll look at me and tell me he agrees. But Jacob Connor's got nine rebounds in 23 minutes. Kevin Boyles has six rebounds in 24 minutes. He's got five in 33. He can't play like that. He's got to be in there digging and rebounding and getting some offensive glass. And I don't know if he's, you know, he's made a few threes and he hasn't made them all his life and he's fallen in love with them. But he's got to get out of that one and we got to get him back in toward the rim a little bit more. He's got to be driving toward the rim a little bit more. He's got to be a little bit more physical inside and not get bounced around. Nate was Nate. Gets 10 rebounds. He's going to, you know, he, he fights them in there. I thought White's decent. You know, Marco's not bad. He's in there banging around. But it was a pretty good ball game, I think, up until about the 15-minute mark of the game when they went from about 15 or about four, three or four, five-point game up to about 12. And that was – we drove in, they stripped us, and what we were doing driving in without doing one thing, all the way from half court, they strip it, go down and score. And then we missed a wide-open three, and they scored. You know, that's all it needs. You can't do that. In this in this type of environment setting, so we'll work on it. But the good thing is, is that you know I, I thought we got back into running, staying within the Marshall brand a little bit, and it wasn't my turn, your turn. We were more into the the brand itself. Now we didn't make key shots, which we have to do, and we have to make key plays. But we got to also not have that dribble down, turn it over. We got lucky with one passed it to Bean, and they called a foul, but. It's a lazy pass. And right when we came out, I mean, right out of the timeout, lazy. And I've got to be able to be strong enough to say, okay, you know, if you're going to be that, I can't trust you to make a real solid play. And I don't mind uh, if you mess up doing the right thing. It's when you're doing the wrong thing. And that that I've got to decide. This These guys, these guys will probably not do the wrong thing and play that and go that direction.
All right, Coach, what was kind of like the lessons learned from this weekend, and how do you like <laughs> take those lessons at, going into the, your um, home stretch this week? Well, yeah, I always learn lessons. I'd rather learn and win it. But, uh, you know, the losing part was, uh, you know, I don't know what you learn other than you got to play hard. And it's not easy to lose, fellas. It's not easy on these guys. It's not easy on the coaching staff. It's not. And there's not a whole lot. I know they say one of the lessons you learn. I know that's kind of maybe uh, sports uh, uh, journalism 101 at a university, you know. But when you're playing in the contest and you're getting beat, it's hard to clear your mind to even think about some lessons. I know you get to the pro level and some of those guys will say, so and so and so and so. I, but I, I think that's sports talk, not the, the reality. Reality is you get beat. That means what we got to do is come back, get to practice, bear a little bit harder on what we're doing, be more conscious as a coaching staff. We got to make sure that we got the right players at the right time. And then they've got to make the plays. It's, it's not once the coaches get the right lineups and try to get the right lineups, if there is one. But if you if you get the right lineups and they're they're smooth, then they have to they have to make the plays. So we'll look at it, the coaching staff, make sure that we got the right people, the right places, that we're doing the right thing. From that point on, it's up to them. They've got to make plays and do things that make winning available, and not do things that cause you to lose. And then we made about five or six little things that. Ball came off the rim, and Marco instead of grabbing it, tips it, and he goes out of bounds. Should have grabbed it. But White comes down on a layup, has wide open layup, misses. Cam uh, Crawford dribbles from half court to do everything, strip it, go down, score a layup. Can't do those things. And uh, it's a little bit of a swagger. I'm sure they doubt themselves a little bit, but you know we got to man up, man up. You know, you got to find that swagger. You got to have that confidence. And just come out there and battle. And I, but I, I'll end on this one. I like what I saw. I'm, I'm telling you, I know it seems funny, but they, this team could have blown us out 30 like yeah, they did the other night. But we hung in there better, and we were much more structured and did things on their court. 12, 15 point game. You know, one little run right there that, that comes tight. So I like where we are, other than losing. But I like what I saw the progression from last Thursday night. To Saturday night, we're coming home. We got four home games. I hope the Marshall fans will back that thing. Give us a chance. If we win those four, we can get right back on top. All right, all right, fellas, go hurt.